Hi everyone! Welcome to another edition of Nighttime with Nina. I'm here with another story for our Black History Month. This story is called Brilliant Bee. They say your imagination can take you anywhere. I remember when mine didn't let me leave the classroom. While the rest of the kids in room 11 were lined up for recess, I was stuck finishing my work again. I was stucker than stuck. Stuck in Stucksville, population one. Mom always said I have a way with words. Dad always says I'm a real word slinger. My little brother Charlie always says I'm the greatest storyteller on earth. The thing is, though, reading and writing are extra hard for me. Mom and Dad told me that's called dyslexia. It's like the words jump around the page and my eyes try to shoot laser beams to catch them. Every day at school, I was the last one done with my work. The daydreamer staring out the window and the one Ms. Bloom had to use up all of her patience on. I usually try to tell her a real doozy of a story to get her off topic. That did not make me very popular with the other kids. Whenever I had to read out loud in class, I just wanted to melt in my chair like a popsicle on a hot day. If it was hidden ham surprise day in the cafeteria, I could sometimes fool Ms. Bloom that I needed to see Nurse Leo. Also. Hidden ham surprise. Ugh. If I did have to read, it sounded like I was reading in slow motion and fast forward at the same time. Writing wasn't much better. It's like my pencil won't write what my brain is thinking. Beatrice, what's the hiccup? Can I read what you have so far? Miss Bloom asked. I nodded. She looked at the words I had on the page. I won't let dullying bring me down. What is dullying? Miss Bloom asked. Bullying, not dullying, I pronounced. In her most kind way, Miss Bloom said, I think you've figured it out. With your brilliant brain, Beatrice, bullying is dull. Oh, that was really nice of Miss Bloom. Do you know what brilliant means, Miss Bloom asked? It means super smart, I answered in a super smart way. It means bright and radiant, Beatrice. That is the opposite of dull. I'm brilliant. The next day, Miss Bloom kept me after school. My heart hopscotched its way to her desk. She opened her drawer and pulled out some sort of ancient device. Any adult who's my age or older or even a teeny bit younger will know what that ancient device is. This is for you to tell your stories to. It's a tape recorder. Push this button here and away you go. Uh, thanks, Miss Blue. I will take good care of it. Sitting alone at recess was not a new activity for me, but this time I pushed the red button, cleared the frogs from my throat, and let the words flow. It all began one ordinary day, and in the end, the three misfits knew that they had experienced something extraordinary. That story sounds great. I want to hear the rest of it. Why are you talking to yourself, and what is that weird thing around your neck, Beatrice? asked Rudy. Normally, I would shrivel up and just wish him away. Not today. It records all of my stories, I answered snappily. Good for her. So the small but mighty girl with the scarlet cape and the golden griffin went into the cave of enchantment where they found the nightingale whose magic could restore her voice. Oh, cool. Maybe Rudy's not so bad. He says, I'd love to draw. Maybe I can make some pictures for your stories. I'd like that, I smiled back. You can call me B. 
That's what my friends call me. That afternoon, Rudy helped me feel unstuck. Look at all those cool drawings he's making. After a little time, recess meant that me and my new friends gathered by the oak tree and sailed off to faraway adventures. Then the wizard pointed his staff at the girl, but the nightingale spread its wings over the girl to let the light shine down on her. The whole cave glowed as the girl's voice came back to her. It rose until its beauty shrunk the wizard to the size of a goosebump. Or sometimes we just played a game of Foursquare. Learning differently wasn't something to be afraid of anymore either. My best friend and I created a comic book that the class loved so much, Ms. Bloom made copies for everyone to take home. Ms. Bloom is also a great teacher, really supportive. And someday, you too will become who you were meant to be. And this says it's How Brilliant Bee Found Her Shine by Beatrice St. Clair. Oh my gosh, there's Beatrice and there's Rudy. And I think the two of them are reading their story together to the kids in the class. Oh, it's an awesome book. Oh, here's some pages of her comic book. There's the girl and the nightingale and the wizard. And there's the candle and her voice that drove the wizard away. So cool. Hope you liked this story and I'll be back again soon for another one. Have a great night. See you soon. Bye-bye.